Hi kids, welcome to Happy Homeschooling, where we learn amazing things about the world around us. Today we're going to talk about one of the most beautiful and fascinating creatures on the planet, butterflies. Butterflies come in all shapes, sizes, and colors. But did you know they go through an incredible transformation called metamorphosis? Let's dive into their life cycle and learn more about these enchanting insects. The life of a butterfly starts with a tiny egg. These eggs are usually laid on the leaves of plants. Can you guess what happens next? That's right, the egg hatches into a caterpillar, also known as a larva. Caterpillars are very hungry and spend most of their time eating leaves. They need to eat a lot to grow big and strong. As the caterpillar grows, it sheds its skin several times. This process is called molting. Once it's ready, the caterpillar forms a chrysalis or pupa. This is where the real magic happens. Inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar transforms into a beautiful butterfly. This process can take anywhere from a few weeks to several months. When it's ready, the butterfly emerges, spreads its wings, and flies away to start the cycle all over again. Now that we know how butterflies grow, let's take a closer look at their bodies. Butterflies have three main body parts, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. On their head, butterflies have two large eyes, two antennae, and a long coiled tongue called a proboscis. They use their eyes to see, their antennae to smell, and their proboscis to sip nectar from flowers. The thorax is where the legs and wings are attached. Butterflies have six legs and four wings, two forewings and two hindwings. The patterns and colors on their wings help them camouflage and communicate with each other. The abdomen contains important organs like the heart and digestive system. Isn't it amazing how such a tiny creature can have such a complex body? Butterflies are very active during the day. They love warm, sunny weather and spend most of their time flying from flower to flower. But why do they do this? Butterflies feed on nectar, which gives them the energy to fly. They also help pollinate flowers, which means they carry pollen from one flower to another. This helps plants grow and produce seeds. Another interesting behavior is their migration. Some butterflies, like the monarch butterfly, travel thousands of miles to find warmer places to live during the winter. It's like going on a long vacation. Before we wrap up, here are some fun facts about butterflies. Fact one, there are over 20,000 species of butterflies in the world. Fact two, butterflies taste with their feet. They can sense the taste of a leaf by standing on it. Fact three, the fastest butterflies can fly up to 37 miles per hour. Fact four, some butterflies have transparent wings. Their clear wings help them blend into their surroundings and avoid predators. Sadly, butterflies face many threats like habitat loss and climate change. We can help protect them by planting butterfly-friendly gardens with lots of flowers, avoiding pesticides, and supporting conservation efforts. We hope you enjoyed learning about butterflies today. Remember, these amazing creatures need our help to survive and thrive. So let's all do our part to protect them and their habitats. Thanks for watching Happy Homeschooling. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more fun and educational videos. See you!